on into later today, but we are concerned with some storms in this area. We've got the threat of severe weather in about three isolated places here across the U.S. Albeit we don't need all this rain at once, it definitely will chip away at those drought conditions. On a more westerly path before conditions become really favorable for it to develop. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, where evacuation orders went into effect Monday morning ahead of Hurricane Dorian's close pass. And the first coast isn't taking any chances. Rain, rain, go away. That's what they're saying out in the desert southwest. And the system will be moving east. So we'll find out what that means for you in your Sunday forecast, as well as the beginning of the week. It's on the fast forecast. Catch it in the My Radar app or swipe up. Of the storms that moved on shore, you can see covering those areas that precisely needed the rain the most. Thanks for joining us. It was an interesting weekend weather-wise, especially for the moms out there who got snow. For morning hours. This then turns into a severe weather threat on Tuesday into Wednesday for places like Alabama, Georgia, and North Florida. In the beginning of the week, we'll see a change in this jet stream where we see some more amplitude. And with that, we'll see a change in our temperatures and the weather that's coming up for this weekend. So 14 Mondays away, something to keep in mind, of course. Don't worry, the MyRadar team will be here for parts of Wisconsin and the lower peninsula of Michigan, where we could see a few more inches accumulating there. But as we head into the evening hours and those temperatures drop, you could see a few flakes of snow going into tonight and also for your Monday. In Texas there, the Rio Grande Valley getting a little more rain than what they've bargained for. You can see the flash flooding was a concern down there.